So today we're going to be talking about the Rode NT USB Plus and how we can set it up using the Rode Central application. So the NT USB Plus is uh, the successor to Rode's 2014 NT USB microphone, one of the standard studio microphones uh, in the USB mode. So let's just uh, jump straight into the application. Before that, let me, I'm using OBS. So there's a noise filter here. I'll just turn it off. You can see no more noise filter. This is what the mic sounds like in an untreated room. We have our mic on the left. You can see the firmware version. If you have any upgrades, it will show up here in the firmware list. And on the top right, you have the save to microphone option. So if you change these settings and if you save to the microphone, it will be saved on chip. You get an input level changer. So this is the microphone at full volume. Then I'm going to be changing it at around 25. So this is at 75. This is at around 50. This is around 25. This is zero. 25, 50, 75, 100. I'll go closer. So 75, 50, 25, 0. 25, 50, 75, 100. Then we have the high pass filter. You have two settings. One is 75 and one is 150 hertz. So let's uh, check out both of them. This is my voice without the high pass filter. This is my voice with the 75 hertz high pass filter. This is my voice with the 150 hertz high pass filter. Uh, um, so this is what the mic sounds like without the noise gate on. And this is now with the noise gate. So what you can see, what you can notice is when I'm speaking, it is still taking the noise. If I stop speaking, noise cuts off completely. So I don't think this setting is very useful if you're using applications like Audacity, where they have this effect of uh, removing noise. I think this will be more useful for people who are not using any kind of software to remove noise or don't know a lot about noise removal. The compressor. What the compressor basically does is it normalizes your audio in such a way that the higher highs get lower and the lowest of lows get a bit higher so that your overall audio sounds way smoother. So this is my voice with the compressor on. This is it without, without it. And now I'm going to speak some highs and lows. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, hello, how are you? I am not good. Hi, hello, how are you? I am not good. The next effect is the oral exciter, which makes your voice a bit metallic, as you can see, and it picks up a lot of mouth sounds, like these. This uses an exciter, which, uh, which manipulates uh, your audio and makes it sound a little bit more exciting, <laughs> if I may. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Hello, is it me you're looking for? The oral exciter does make a big change for people who are singing and I, I think it might sound better on some instruments. So the big bottom is kind of like a bass booster. So let's just, uh, this is what I sound like without the big bottom. This is what I sound like with the big bottom. So you can see there is a significant amount of bass that is added to my voice. My voice is not this bassy. So this is my voice, my original voice without the big bottom. This is my voice with the big bottom. So let me just turn all of them on. And when you save to the microphone, it has like a, a little bit of a delay. So hello, 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 hello. Yeah, so this much of delay you will have. So the mic just saves all these settings to the chip and then you can use the mic uh, and you can see it's grayed out now. So if you make any change here now, it will again come back. So yeah, um, this is what the mic sounds like with all the effects turned on and this is what it sounds like with the HPF at 150 instead of 75 rest of the settings remain the same now I'm going to turn off one by one HPF I'm going to turn off first HPF is now off now I'm going to turn off the noise gate noise gate is now off compressor is on compressor is now off oral exciter is now on oral exciter is off and now the big bottom goes off so this is now back to my original voice i'm going to do the same thing now from the from the right so now the big bottom goes off the oral exciter goes off the compressor goes off the noise gate goes off the hpf goes to 150 and then it goes off so this is again back to my original voice 
so that's it that's all you have all the settings you have on the road central application and whatever changes you make here these will uh, these will trickle down to your applications that you're using whether it be audacity whether it be obs you will have it there 